What is up? Welcome to a brand new episode of the Grease Couch Chronicles. Yeah. <laughs> it's um the first day of summer. This is the twenty first usually, right? June twenty first. I'm not sure. Let me look it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, you know, it's officially the first day of summer. You know what I mean? Um, this week is looking like it's gonna be or has been ninety plus. Today is the first day of summer, actually. Oh, yeah, so it's the first day of summer. Shout out to <laughs> that. You know what I mean? It'll be the second day of summer by the time you hear this. Yes. You know what I mean? We shoot on a Thursday, so Thursday, June 20th, first day of summer. Shout out to that. Yeah, but um, before we do get into our episode for today, we want to thank Magic Mind for, you know, coming back around again, spinning a block. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all check them out. Head on over to magicmind.com. Make sure you use our code. It's <laughs> productivity <laughs> shots. Good for the brain. Good yes, for sir. energy. Good for stress. Yes, sir. It has lion's mane. Uh-huh. It has vitamin B12. Mm-hmm. It has ashwagandha. Yes, it's it loaded does. with matcha. Yes, it does. Nice little sweet short shot that you could just pop in your purse. <laughs> carry <laughs> wherever you're going, whether it's work, whether it's to the gym, wherever. Yeah. Just to keep you focused while you're already taking your um, energy boost for the day, whether that be coffee or your pre-workout before the gym. And uh, head on over to magicmind.com. Uh, use code Couch Chronicles 20 for 20% off your first time purchase. Couch Chronicles 20, guys, for yeah. 20% off. Help us help you help them. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Straight like that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so Juneteenth, right? Yes. I'm always, you know, I mean, I'm always in the middle when it comes to certain holidays for the fact that we are, we were we did we were born in Jamaica, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So certain things I want to say personally when it comes to relating to me as a person or comes to relating to you as a person, I don't want to say like it doesn't really affect us because everybody, you know, everyone likes to say like you know we're all black people, we're all affected in the realm of being a black person, but. Um, When it comes to Juneteenth, I want to be 100% honest. I don't know what to do, what I'm supposed to do, what's supposed to happen. And I I I feel like I'm not the only one in this room, right? It's a very new holiday. Yeah, it is a very new holiday. And I feel like it's it's more so what I'm realizing. It's for us Caribbeans that grew up there predominantly. um, We don't know what to do. And it's a little, yeah. it's a, it's a little awkward in, in a People lot of People asking me about Juneteenth. I'm like, yeah, bro, enlighten me, cause <laughs> I'm very much Jamaican, bro. I think diff- these no, type of holidays is different from whether if you grew up in the Caribbean versus whether you grew up in America. I feel like for Americans, it's very serious as it should be, but yeah, I don't yeah. know the significance of it for real, for real. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I read up on it, of course, but to hold it to a caliber, I don't. I don't necessarily hold it to that. Okay, Juneteenth. All right. Juneteenth commemorates the day on June 19, 1865, when a Union general uh, read orders in Galveston, Texas, stating all enslaved people in the state were free according to federal law. Juneteenth was designated a federal holiday three years ago. <laughs> and we just. 2020, 21. So it's, it happened in 1865. <laughs> Can you imagine? You see how crazy that is? It happened in 1865, bro. And it became a holiday in, Ju- in June of 2021. So that's, that's where I've been. You know what I mean? I've been in the, yo, this became a holiday three years ago. We don't know what to do. There's not really any marketing behind it. It's not really a solidified holiday to most people. I mean, Despite how you feel as an American black person, I'm not trying to be rude or nothing. You know what I mean? This is a show, but I do want to respect people's culture and stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, I feel like a lot of people take a piss. And what do you mean? Yeah, like, you, you have an experience you have. Oh, you're talking about... Uh, a lot of people have experiences they can talk about. Yeah, when I, I think... For for this holiday, the others don't really know how to act. <laughs> That's what I mean. They don't really know how to act because I was grocery shopping, minding my own business with my kid, and then this 
this Caucasian woman was following me around the store just so she can yell Happy Juneteenth, Happy Juneteenth. <laughs> at the right moment. Yeah, and I, you're it, looking it, at grapes. Yeah, it felt, it felt a little awkward because I was, you know, felt shopping forced. for fruits in the fruit section, and she's yeah. just like, "Happy Juneteenth!" It, it it caught me off guard. I had no choice but to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, what are you? What am I supposed to do now? I don't think this is a holiday. You you should like scream like. Yeah, it's not a Happy Juneteenth. Yeah, it's more of like you know what risk. I, I get it. Like, you should respectfully walk away from me and yeah. not say nothing. <laughs> I mean, HR, right? Like, <laughs> what, what email is HR supposed to send? Because I read something, and it was way before I, way after I left. I read it the next morning when I got into work. And I was like, all right. I feel like this was kind of, like, on the spot. Like, it was like, yo, we got to we gotta say something. You know what I mean? So it's like, it was sent way after 5 p.m. on a business day. So it's like, all right, when will y'all thinking of <laughs> releasing this email? Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like this holiday puts a lot of people who aren't in the black community in a position like, all right, what are we supposed to do? I don't feel sorry for them. They're just being mad awkward about it because yeah, it's yeah. like, yo, if you educated yourself and you know what this holiday is about, just like... It, it's ain't for you and it's ain't for you to say yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. it's just for you to be an ally and just don't put a watermelon in the break room. yeah like <laughs> <laughs> i saw that someone um at their corporate place they had a watermelon in the break room the watermelon wasn't cut it was in a bowl with a cutting board and a knife <laughs> so it's like cut this your damn self <laughs> nigga <laughs> <laughs> like that I don't know why would anybody think to do that like I can understand oh, if it man. was cut along with other fruits but you had it whole for the cu- for the the black person to cut it up yeah, yeah. and eat it and like what made you choose a watermelon <laughs> It just sucks when you got to be awkward about something and it's like yeah. you're not trying to be awkward but it's like yo what do we do <laughs> The whole yesterday, I was like, "What? How about a Am pay raise? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. No, <laughs> How about a pay raise? Give us more money." Happy Juneteenth, man. Yeah, to say the least. Happy yeah. Juneteenth. Let's move on. Um, so I feel like we've gotten away with <laughs> with with the tip culture. I feel like, oh. <laughs> like they're definitely. giving yeah they're giving you any reason now to get a tip. Yeah. You know, they like definitely are. You stumble into certain places. You're like, wait, should I be leaving a tip <laughs> at, <laughs> at the local farmers market? <laughs> like, I don't. What, like certain I places, I don't. Fruit. Yeah, I I feel like certain places, you shouldn't. I shouldn't have to tip. You know what I mean? And when you bring up tipping, like people, you know, you sound broke or like, you know, you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, because it, it gives it gives people. They look at you a certain way if you're talking anyway about tipping like whether you're tipping a lot or tipping they always look at you like yo you you have a problem with tipping but it's like certain things aren't tippable it's just not a tippable moment yeah i think the issue with with it is because what tipping is based around is being in the the service industry for a very long time you know that tips make up majority of your wage or it should that be i get majority of, but i'm saying outside. that's all people know so it's like if if I'm a server and I'm making 17 cents an hour and I I have to make the rest on the tip end, that's all people know. They're like, yo, this is where they get majority of their money. So thinking that and you let's say you go to, I don't know, like a little cute cafe and all the person did was give you a donut and a coffee. My nigga, I'm not looking to. Yeah to give you a fifty dollar tip like but you sound crazy for even saying that like nah, i'm I feel like tip culture has gotten way out of hand and if you make my smoothie and you bring it to me uh, i don't have to give you like it's a choice yeah, yeah, yeah. at the end of the day it is a choice with certain things you got to use your discretion but i don't have to all the time you lift in most of the the weight when it comes to paying these people yeah. like why does the person getting the service have to now foot the bill of Mm-hmm. someone's paycheck yeah i feel like it should always be the corporation that uh yeah the, co- that, the corporation that should give you majority of your tip and if somebody majority feels, of your pay yeah if somebody feels like responsible to if they want to give you more money then yeah it's up to their, their discretion, discretion. Yeah, yeah for sure for sure <laughs> it's just wild just it the is. amount of things i'm like i got a tip for this oh and i got a tip for this 
I just did three different things and I had to tip three different people. Yeah. When it used to be one or two, you know what I mean? So it's like, wow, this is crazy, man. That's where life is now. Tipping all over the world. Yeah, I was going to say. It's a tip <laughs> Tipping all over the world, man. Um, we're not going to take a break today. We're just going to run through it. Fuck it. It's summer. You know what I mean? We're switching it up. Um, summer programs, right? Yeah. Did you have your child in anything? Are you looking at anything? Like, what? what where do you stand in... The kids trying to be active now that it's the summertime. Honestly, I was going to put them in a summer program, but then I realized throughout school how much a- after activity. school he did. Yeah. So I'm just Mine's like... Just tired still. Yeah, I'm going to let you rock. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to put you in a, in a summer no, program. Like, so this year I looked at a lot of them, but I, I just denied them because I'm like, you know what? He already did so much after school activity at one point Say, he was juggling me, two at a time <laughs> mom you're killing me man yeah, so, i'm gonna just let him rock how about um, you go to karate <laughs> yeah i'm gonna just let him rock this summer oh man um, plus once you think about it summer's kind of short it is and it runs it goes by so fast you know what yeah I mean? um i've always been like a camp person like yo let's, let's go to camp just do camp man i would love I if, if camp, camp was time, an option but it looks, oh man, like the shows, the TV, the movies, like <laughs> yeah. camp look lit as shit. It does, and I and I wish there were more like affordable camps. Nowadays, it's like they want you to pay a mortgage yeah, yeah. <laughs> to send your kids. Yeah, I saw the to fees. camp for I was a looking week. At the fees today, and I was like, dude, what? <laughs> yeah, it's it's paying it's, rent for you to watch my kid. Yeah, it's up there. That's why I'm like, I wish there were more affordable options. Granted, they a lot of them are doing majority of the funding, so it's like. If you, if the government would chip in and at least give these people the tools and resources to have camp, maybe it would be a little bit more affordable, That's but true. I don't know. What's one thing um, you would say, like, is good for the kids to do for the summer? Like, what's a good way for the kids to stay active during the summer? I would say the park. Like, I know a lot of parents okay. don't want to even be out in the heat. But taking your kid to the park, give them a ball, you know, get some water guns, have picnics, just be outside. It's good for them. And plus, by the time they get back inside, they're going to be tired. And it's bedtime for them. <laughs> yeah. And they'll, trust me, they'll go to sleep a lot earlier. Right? Tired as hell. <laughs> just Look make them tired, man. Just tired. Take them to the park. Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, I was looking at something online about Justin Timberlake, like a mugshot. Yeah, Justin like, mugshot. he looked weird <laughs> yo gen z for my visuals I'm like, slap that right there um yeah and i was like trying that? to get some information i was like what's going on with justin timberlake right i meant to look it up yeah let's let's see real quick justin timberlake news what happened man What what's your problem oh dwi oh it's Driving always it's always a dwi man. my thing is you're um above middle class because <laughs> i don't know <laughs> if he's rich <laughs> He might be. I don't want to say Justin Timberlake's rich. I don't want to say he's not rich. But we're just going to, I'm just going to refer to these people that I don't know their finances as above middle class. Yep. So, so <laughs> makes <you're>, sense. <laughs> it does make sense. That's sick, right? <laughs> Justin Timberlake uh, is above middle class. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. <laughs> above middle class. No, I'm going to lie. So these above middle class people, right? Mm-hmm. Why? Are you driving your car? For real. Why do you choose to do it? Why are you not employing a driver? Or That's at least an Uber. Like, I'm That's sure you have a secret part of why Uber. Why <laughs> are you driving while intoxicated? Why are you intoxicated with driving? <laughs> why is that in the same sentence? For real. It just makes no sense. And you see how many people these people either run over or... You know, they, in a casualties. Few, a few celebrities do, yes. have have off people. People who are above <laughs> middle class. <laughs> yeah, people who are above middle <laughs> middle class have offed a lot of people, and that's crazy. And it's like, yo, bro, like you should you you don't have to drive where you're going. You do not have to drive there. So I was just, I was just like, this it's is like, crazy. how intoxicated are you that you can't go on the Uber app? There's nothing sense. you shouldn't be you able should, to do. You should not be in a car behind the wheel. <laughs> I don't think they should be driving. They really should. Above though. middle class people should not be driving. That's yeah. what I feel. Because you don't, you're not experiencing that day to day task enough. Yep, that's definitely like it true. requires patience. They don't seem to 
be the type of people who have patience to me. Yeah, they I'm don't. I'm being judgmental. In they that really sense. don't, though. So I was like, trying to have an above middle class person, but at a red light. <laughs> What? People are gonna start saying it. They are. That's what I'm like. <laughs> That's what's so funny about that. It's <laughs> crazy. People are gonna start saying that. But um, yeah, and I saw that, which which is crazy that it even died down. Versus, is now active again, and um, it looks like they've gotten um distribution deal with X with um Elon Musk. Oh wow. So before um. We spoke about it. They sold the rights to Versus to whoever, and then it just went away. We didn't see nothing. Versus hasn't been not doing nothing. They've been quiet. And then this week, yesterday, um, Juneteenth, they made an announcement that they they have full ownership again, and they signed a deal with um, X. What does that mean? So though? selling selling to buy back again or whatever whatever the case was, I thought that was a finesse. To be able to sell something, get some money, Maybe it do whatever, and then, then just be able to, I guess, buy it back and then own it again. That's Maybe amazing. it wasn't official because, like, I know um, Beats by Dre is sold yeah. to Apple, yeah. but he still has ownership of which it. Is, which is, I, that's a finesse. So, <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? if I sell you something and you still got to call it Beats by it. Dre... <laughs> It's still mine. Yeah. So <laughs> shout out to that type of deal. Yeah, I rocks with those sure, type. For sure. So shout outs to them. And I, yeah, I wanted to talk about that. And um, yeah, it's uh, bring it home today. Real quick episode today, guys. What we really are. I don't know what's, yeah, I don't know what's going on. And let me get my shit fixed here. There we go. Ooh. Word right. Yeah, this actually did start as a half cast, by the way. So we're dabbling back into being a half gas, especially for the summer. Yeah, the studio is uh it's not the best when it comes to AC. But um yeah, um we had Kendrick doing his yeah, um, what Kendrick was Lamar that? and Friends. What was it's that? a Kendrick Lamar concert where he just kinda brought people out. Oh. So um yeah, I saw that he did not like us five times. Yeah, I'm like <laughs> And you know what it is? It was a lot of people on stage. I saw Schoolboy Q. Um, I saw Ab Soul, J Rock, so the, uh, the whole TDE was there. I don't think SZA was there though. Um, no. Let me just verify. But yeah, I feel like, I mean, this is this is Kendrick's moment. I feel like it's like a, a victory lap. You know what I mean? He's he's been like, really like yeah, like I beat Drake. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> that's the whole energy. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people as well. They haven't been been able to get past it either the beef yeah it's like everything that has to do with e either or yes yeah, it wasn't there um ty dallas signed don kennedy steve lacy tyler the creator roddy rich yg schoolboy q j rock absol and dr dre oh look a nice little and it was presented by amazon music it was live streamed and all that stuff oh, yeah i saw a whole bunch of people like yeah. you know but um i think like what I was saying is like you'll see something that is not relating to the the beef at all, and then there's somebody like it's music, mm -hmm. and then there's somebody or like maybe a hundred people having this relate to the beef somehow, and it's yeah, like, like yeah it's I feel like people are still in the moment you know what I mean like people who yeah. like they lynch on to a moment and it's like they all they stop. can <laughs> yeah all they can either talk about or relate something to I was seeing some guy um. Like on a song, and it's like I guess he has long hair and a white T-shirt, and they're like, "Oh, this is J Cole after he bowed out of the beef." Yeah, I'm relaxing like, like, now. Like this had nothing to do. With yeah, it. they gotta relax it now. <laughs> it's over. But shout out to Kendrick and you know his Kendrick and wow. Friends performance with Amazon. I like this for Kendrick. I hope I hope he can maintain this energy of like I'm outside. Yeah, I'm he should stay in the streets either. for the yeah. summer. I want to, I want him to keep this up, not yeah. just for the summer. Like, <laughs> nah. where's the music? Like, just drop after, some more music, man. After a while, I want him to go back inside. Cause mm. yeah, I, I'm not really a. I think some people do too. A Kendrick all day, every day type. Of, I just want him to. But if he's giving me more songs like this, yes, I stay in it. this realm. I would like to see Kendrick make a lot of boppers. Like, yeah, Kendrick back making Drake the, songs. The big stepper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Let's make some Drake songs. Mr. Morales <laughs> and the Steppers. Back up off that vibe. I like my Drake songs from Kendrick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Better digest it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I saw that also Don Tolliver dropped an album. Um, it's a lot more upbeat than the last thing he made. That's why I kind of gravitated towards it a little bit. Um, Don Tolliver, Art Stone Psycho. And I look, I'm look, i looking at his name and I'm like, bro, what? What What are you talking about? Hearthstone Psycho. You ever seen an album name and it's like, yo, this... It has nothing to do with yeah nothing to do with and the the, album. The, the the graphics too yeah it's like, like <laughs> why what made you where, choose where, that? where are you taking this <laughs> yeah like so yeah don't mind the name don't mind the cover it's just upbeat Don Tolliver shit with where a lot been? of fusions making music being a father him and Cali Uchis, um just uh, had a baby oh yeah I forgot baby's a few a baby. months oh, old shout out to them yo I, yeah let me give him one more. I should like when uh, the above middle class have kids. Yeah. They make the world get involved. <laughs> yep. The world gets involved. Especially ASAP. ASAP I think all that stuff should be, yeah. For, I, think I think all Ortega. that stuff should be private, but hey, those people, you know what I mean? Everything's a moment. Yep. Can't be mad at it. But that's today's episode, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Half cast today. Literal half cast today. Yeah. You know what I mean? As always, make sure you shop Glow Nude. Yes, guys. We always going to forget about Glow Nude. Yes. Soaps in stock. Um, Scrubs in stock. Scrubs Head on over stock. to glow.nude on Instagram. Send us a DM. Yep. Place your order via DM. And make sure you shop Magic Mind. All natural. All, all natural. <laughs> all natural. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Magic Mind. All natural <laughs> ingredients. Yes. You know what I mean? Matcha B12, ashwagandha, lion's mane. Mental productivity shot. Make sure you use code Degrees Couch Chronicles twenty. Yep. For twenty percent off your first time purchase. And as always, we're war with ourselves. We're war never now. Let me redo that. I'm sorry, guys. It's hot. <laughs> we're war with ourselves. We're war with everyone outside. Be safe out there, guys. Peace.